Hello my dear students. Today we are going to cover a problem on muff coupling. So basically muff coupling is a mechanical device which connects two shafts which are parallel to each other. In this figure there are two shafts. The first one is this one and the second one is this one. Whereas there is one key and the outer portion is called as muff. The shaft diameter is denoted by capital letter D and the muff outer diameter is denoted by D1. Whereas from this edge to this edge the length is denoted by L. Let's start with the problem. The problem is given as design and make a neat sketch of a muff coupling which is to be used to connect a steel shaft transmitting 40 kW. So one shaft is there which is transmitting 40 kW power to another shaft which is rotating at 350 rpm. The material for the shaft and key is plain carbon steel means for shaft and key the material is same that is plain carbon steel which allowable shear stress and crushing stresses are 40 MPa and 80 MPa respectively. The crushing stress is 80 MPa whereas the shear stress is 40 MPa. The shear is 40 and the crushing is 80 MPa. The material for the muff is cast iron. For this material is used a cast iron and for that the allowable shear stress is assumed to be 15 MPa. Let's write down the given data. The shear stress for the shaft and key material is same that is 40 MPa. The crushing stress for the key is 80 MPa and the shear stress for the cast iron is 15 MPa. The power is 40 kW and the RPM is 350 RPM. Now let's start with design of shaft. For this designing I am using a design data handbook by K Mahadevan and K Balvir Reddy. So I will take first formula from design data handbook that is shear stress is equals to 16 into T. T is torque pi by capital D cube. The formula equation number is 3.1 and it is on page number 50. In this entire equation our first aim should be to find out the torque. So to find out the torque we will use this formula which is there on 3.3a equation and page number 15 that is 9.55 into 10 raised to 6 into p divided by n. So here p is power which is given as 40 and n is rpm which is given by 350. So substitute the values in the equation number 3.3a after substituting multiply this with this first I will get this answer then I am keeping 350 as same after final I will get the answer 1091428.5 Newton mm. So this torque whatever I have got I will substitute in equation number 3.1 the equation number 3.1 is given here. So I will substitute the value shear stress is given that is 40 is equals to 16 into 1091428.5 divided by pi d cube. So I will follow the procedure. I will take this here and I will put this d cube this side. So my equation will modified as like this. So first I will multiply 16 with this value. I will get this answer and whatever it is there at the bottom I will keep it in bracket and my answer for that is 125.5. 66. So d cube is equals to I will get this answer 138969.17 after putting cube root I will get answer 52. So I will round off that answer and I will take diameter of the shaft is 55 mm. Now the next procedure is design of muff. Here just we have got diameter is 55 and the shear stress value for the cast iron is given as 15 MPa which is given in the problem. So basically I will find out first diameter that is D1 and length which is denoted by here. This diameter I want to find out that is D1 
and I want to find out this is as my length. So d1 is equals to 2d. So 2 into 55 d what we have got. Answer is 110. This formula is 13.1d and on page number 252. Similarly, the length of the muff is L is equals to 2.5d plus 50mm. This formula is there on page number 253 and it is given in the sketch. So for that, my answer is 187.5 which I will make round figure to 190mm. Now, if we want to make part drawing of this, so what I will do? If length of the muff is 190, I will take 20 mm extra. So this will become 190 plus 20 that is 210 mm and this is length of the slot. Whereas the shaft length can be taken as 20 mm more. So that will become 210 plus 20 mm that is equals to 230 mm. This is only applicable for the part modeling. Now checking the shear stress in the muff. So I will consider this as a hollow cylinder where D is a shaft diameter and D1 is the muff diameter. I will use this formula which is there on page number 3.1, page number 50, equation is 3.1 where here K is shaft diameter divided by muff diameter. So 55 divided by 110, I will get answer 0.5. Now let's substitute the values. 16 and my torque I have substituted here where pi into d cube d cube is here don't forget this then remaining value 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5 to the power 4 so procedure is how first 0.5 to the power 4 I will get this answer then 1 minus this as it is I am keeping as it is 16 into this I will get this answer pi into 110 cube I will get this answer so if I solve step wise, I will get answer 4.4 MPA. So my G1 is 15 MPA and I have got answer is 4.45 MPA. So my induced stresses are less than the allowed stresses. So my design is safe. Now next procedure is design of key where B and equal to h is equals to 18 mm I have considered and I am considering this as a square key. This I got from table number 4.5 page number 69 where length can be taken as L by 2 where L is nothing but length of the hub. So 190 we have got 190 divided by 2 that is 95 mm. But for sketching purpose the length of the key should be taken as 10 mm extra. So 190 plus 10 that is 200 divided by 2. So it will become 100. This is only for sketch. Now check the shear stress in the key. So formula is T is equals to 1 by 2 tau BDL. This formula is on page number 62 where the equation number is 4.5. Substitute the values and assume that stress shear stress is not given. So this into this into this and 0.5 is there. I will get this answer. So I will put shear stress here and torque divided by this answer I will get 23.2 whereas in our problem the shear stress for the key and the shaft material is given as 40 and our answer is 23 MPA. So it is less so my design is safe here. Similarly crushing stress can be checked that is the formula is T is equals to 1 by 4 crushing stress HDL. This formula is on page number 62 and equation number 4.4 B. Here again substitute all the values by thinking they have not given us crushing stress. So this into this into this D into 1.1 by 4. I will get this answer 2351.2 into sigma C. So keep sigma c this side and 1091428 divided by 23512 I will get 46.41 MPA. My given value in the problem is 80 MPA crushing stress for the key is 80 MPA and I have got less answer than that. So here also my design is same. 
सो होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रॉब्लम